What is the dominion of New England, you may ask? Well, it's quite simple, actually. It was a providence that was created by combining the British colonies and the North American colonies. The colonies that were part of this fantastic creation were, the, were present day Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, and after May 7, 1688, New Jersey and New York. The Dominion was set in Boston, Massachusetts. It was created as an attempt to control trade in several unruly colonies. Now that you know what it is, maybe you're wondering what the colonists thought about this form of government. No? Well, I guess that's too bad. I'm obliged to tell you. I could sum it up by simply saying they didn't like it, but I believe we need more details so we can start from the beginning. James II was the first president of the Providence. He was a Massachusetts native. He didn't stay long in office, though. Soon he left, giving it to the highly unliked Edmund Andros. Before we can get to Mr. Andros, we should see why James left. Many of the Puritan leaders were becoming even more resistant to royal authority. Many people he appointed to office refused to take office. Now back to Andros. One mistake he made was he demanded that the Puritan churches to hold services for the Church of England, but they refused, obviously making him furious towards them. Another one was his brilliant idea to raise the taxes in many colonies for many residents. Some residents in Massachusetts even paid less tax, but many towns refused to meet with him to make a compromise. Andrew stopped town meeting so he could be in control of the raise of tax and rent. Not even Englanders agreed with him. To follow closely behind with the topic of what the colonists thought, we have the topic of how it impacted the colonists. It angered the colonists, causing them to dislike them even more than they already had and not agree with any ideas the Dominion produced. Towns were refused to meet with the president to create a compromise. They just wanted him to go out, and the dominion ended. Some towns even held mobs. They were highly unsuccessful, but that doesn't mean they didn't take place. And finally, I think we can now come to an end of the dominion. How did it end? Well, the dominion came to a sudden and abrupt halt in 1689, when the word arrived in the colonies about the removal of James II from the throne in the Glorious Revolution. The failure of the Dominion of New England temporarily changed many British officials' thoughts towards the American colonies. A period of solitary neglect revealed itself in the late 17th and early 18th centuries. Some, of the, some in authority believed that there was greater wisdom in attempting to encourage commercial relations with the colonies than amending the governmental affairs. That beneficial dis regard did much to foster the growth of self-government in America. So to simplify that, we basically re 